All right, guys, so here we are with the Pleasant Hearth pellet stove again. I think this is year six. Um, starting to have some issues with airflow. I'm not really sure uh, what's causing it. If it's because I moved the stove and it's got a horizontal vent that goes out here, it's only a couple feet and then it goes vertical, I don't know. Um, but when I run the stove on high, it gets an excessive amount of ash buildup and it's just not burning the pellets. I haven't vacuumed it yet, but that's just because I pulled the ash pot out when it was full. It doesn't usually have a stuff down in there. Um, so I'll show you the ash from one bag of pellets. And then it went out in the middle of the night. So we got the electric heat cranking. Um, and I can't have this keep happening because like if that had went out when this was being painted and this paint was curing, that would have been bad. Because um, it's been real cold. But this, this is the amount of ash from one, one bag. It's still warm. Um, and it builds up and then it clogs the hopper and then it puts the stove out and it's not burning the pellets you can see this is unburnt these are these are unburnt chunks of pellets um so what i'm doing is i so i crank the air up two turns the blue the blue knob underneath your thermostat can't really see in there but there's a there's a screw right here to adjust the airflow and to give it more air you turn it to the left, so this way, counterclockwise. Um, so I gave it two full turns to the left, and it didn't seem to improve anything. So what I'm going, what I'm doing now, is making these holes bigger, these air holes. So you can see I already drilled this one, this one, this one, and that one. Super easy to do. I'm not making them excessively big like this hole. I'm just going one size up. You can see it's not that huge of a difference. But I'm gonna drill all these out. And then there's only these two slits in the bottom to let air up. So I'm going to drill maybe 10 holes in the bottom here so that it can get air up through the bottom. That's, that should have holes in it. Think about any fire you build, it needs to be able to get air up through the bottom um, to be able to burn really good. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to crank up the stove. And I should have made a before video, but it is what it is. Everybody's seen the stove burning. I've got other videos up. Um, and I'm going to do a video when it lights up and watch it for a minute and see if it looks like it's burning a lot better and then I'll check it in you know it'll burn three bags in 24 hours when it's on all the way maximum and it's real cold out it's like zero the last couple days uh, with a negative wind chill so it's gonna be running on maximum so I'll know within a matter of you know five six hours if it's gonna clog because one bag was clogging the whole thing it wasn't burning it down to a fine fine ash like it should um, and these are really good Cubex pellets. This is like high quality shit right here. So it should, this should help improve that a lot. I looked at a lot of other videos of people who had their fire boxes out and they, a lot of them all had holes in the bottom. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And, uh, hope this helps you if your pellet stove is not burning efficiently and building up excessive amounts of ash. Like I said, I already did two full turns on the screw to let more air in and it didn't change anything. It was exactly the same. So this is what I'm doing now. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to go get a new stove because I don't have time to mess with this. Um, maybe it's feeding excessive amounts of pellets, which isn't something I, I don't think you can adjust. I'll have to go through the manual again and see. But hope this helps everyone out. If you're having an issue, like I said, real simple fix. Just drill the holes bigger so that the fire can get more air. Thanks for watching.